I know what you're thinking. Is this some sort of Turkish torture chamber or some new fad healing modality? Well, I guess you'll just have to find out. Greetings, my curious friends. I know what y'all have been wondering. Where the heck has Ed Old Javan been? Well, let me tell you, I've been around, but not so different from all y'all. Because after this cold, dark winter we just endured, we're all deserving of a little self-love and self-care. Which is why I took this epic excursion into the loving embrace of Mother Nature with my man. Come on, say what's up to everyone. Hey, what's up? Burak Chatakla, who also happens to be a top-notch shooter. Hashtag blessed. So, now, deeper we go. So we decided to take our trip to Termal, located south of the Sea of Marmara in the province of Yalova. It's only an hour and a half by car or an hour by ferry from Istanbul, which is a big W if you ask me. Now, shh, let our mother's flowing waters bring tranquility to your mind. Be water, my friend. This is the Sudushan waterfall, a must-see if you make it to Yelova. It's about 20 minutes outside Taramal, and the name of this waterfall translates to where the water falls. 10 points for originality. Now it's time to start the healing process with some cold therapy. Pray for myself, please. Handmade wool clothing warm me up. Ah, that's better. We made it to the heart of Termal. This cute little town is encompassed with rare flora and boasts all the facilities one needs for a healthy detox. Whenever you ask any Turk about this region, the first thing to come to mind are thermal hot springs. Hence the name Termal, which means thermal. Now, before we take our hot plunge, let's check out the springs. Geothermal heat job. So if you're wondering how the hot springs here in Yalova were formed, an earthquake about 4,000 years ago caused a fissure in the Earth's crust, allowing the water to percolate to a depth of 2,200 meters where it gets heated by the rocks right above the magma before circulating to the surface, which is where it gets its old name Pythia, meaning python, because the water coils from deep within the Earth's crust. My favorite thing about Terramal has to be that each of the different springs located on the trail here specifically treat the ailments in question. Whether it's rheumatism, gut and digestive issues, reproductive issues, skin conditions, stress, joint pain, liver, gallbladder, kidney ailments, whatever it is, this place has a spring for it. So next time, be sure to join me on Anatomy with Errol. The main hammam is called Kurshunlu, meaning leaded, because its roof is coated in lead. The first baths here were built by Byzantine Emperor Constantinus about 1600 years ago. Later, major renovations were made by Ottoman Sultans Abdul Majid and Abdul Hamid II. What I found most inspiring is that both Constantinus and Abdul Majid's constructions were made for their mothers. Health and happiness to all the moms out there. Ranking third in the world, Turkey has really focused on its medical tourism sector and Tadmal is a go-to spot because this place is littered with beautiful boutique hotels offering its care, treatment and services and we're lucky enough to stay on this beautiful property. These waters host 21 different minerals, including magnesium, sulfur, potassium, phosphorus, calcium, manganese, and many more. This water is so exceptional that in 1911, 
It was sent to an international competition held in Rome where it was awarded the most healing hot water. And by the way, this competition hasn't been held since. It's time for a traditional Turkish kese. And now it's time to get exfoliated and rubbed down by our heavy-handed masseur, also known as a tellak. Bakir abi. After being brutally battered in the best way possible and having my body brought back to its senses, it's time to wash out. Now for a little hamam etiquette. These beautiful little bowls are called tusses, and these sinks that you see that have the hot and the cold on them are called kurnas, and you can adjust it to your liking, of course. You could always adjust it to your liking. And over here, we have the central stone, which is called the gerbektaş, also known as the navel stone, and it's quite heated and amazing to lay on. Well, I'm glad I made it out alive. All jokes aside, if you don't want the traditional Turkish rub down in kese, which is quite rejuvenating by the way, you could always opt out for other relaxing massage options. For example, the Thai, Bali, or deep tissue massages. But make sure you always end it off with a traditional Turkish soda. Thank you. Thank you.